Hello and welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup and it's Zuma, the Mummy Summoner and well I don't have too much time once again uh, about half an hour should be no problem um, so let me just refresh my memory here we have got these summoning spells a very nice dagger um, we're a mummy. Um, one of fire. Let's remember that. We have six removed curse scrolls. We could check out some of these weapons. We have a blowgun. That's good to remember. Dagger of Chaos. This is a plus four dagger. We're venom. Flaming. Well, okay. Um, and we are a dungeon level six, experience level eight. So let's. Ooh, hello, friend, <laughs> fellow mummy. Uh, what are we training here? Okay. Summoning an ear. Cursed our boots. Oh, and there's the temple, finally. Hasn't been many altars around so far. Um, So, uh, Fedas, you read the Lemnul, the Menas, Shining One, Drog, Ash, Nzari. Um, there's Gozog, the new god, Sifmuna, Nemalex, Kiku, Emad, and Ru. Um, Getter seven seven uh, told me in a comment on the first or second video that <clears throat> uh, he thought Ru or the more traditional Kiku Bakudka necromancy route could be a good idea because um, well necromancy is really almost the only skill we have zero aptitude in not negative that's a good idea um, and I kinda wanna play a bit more with Rue this is a new new god I have tried him a little bit and was a little bit underwhelmed to be honest um, But I didn't play very a very long game with him, so maybe I just didn't see his full power. Well, uh, I'll do it. I'll take Ru. It does give us one power, which is uh, draw out power, which will um, regain HP and MP, free yourself from nets, webs, constriction, cure, petrification, slow, and confusion. <gasps> it's like a powerful potion of curing, and it costs exhaustion and some draining. So, but the the, the health replenishing can be very good since. Uh, we can't drink potions. Well, yeah, sure, let's do it. And move on. Let's see, let's get some you. Mm -hmm. We 
miscast called canine familiar. Wow. How about an imp? Or an orc priest as well. That's bad. Can you attack him, please? I'll deal with the rest here. Hopefully. Okay, good. Priest, just get a bat as well. Okay. Oh no, grave. <sighs> Experienced gargoyle monk of Chabriados. Huh. Go to the stairs. I don't know if the ghost is slow as well. Since it's a Chibriados worshipper, it doesn't say that it's slow. Um, Cold and our dagger is a freezing dagger. Do you have any weapon? It looks like it has a weapon and a shield, but it should say so in the description here. Um, hmm. Do we dare to summon a lightning spire? It could fail spectacularly. Uh, let's get an imp. Good, uh, white imp. We can run up the stairs if we need to. We might have to. Iguana as well. Okay, no. Um, run. of fire. Maybe a bit overkill, but it did take out the invisible wizard. So. There's Egypt. Should be able to take out him, right?
Glorik the Orc with a flail of protection. Oh. Um, get ourselves some imps and a dog. Now on a fire. Ah. Oh, he's hasted his. Hmm. Do we dare to do one more one of fire here? Slow, I guess. The slowness of Che Briados doesn't last after death. Um, hmm. We can flee down these stairs, maybe. We don't know what's down there, so that could be even worse. Oh, now he's. Tile away, not for long. Um, one scroll of blinking. Hmm, this guy can kill us quite easily. Let's, um,. we know are quite far away uh, hmm. an ornate deck of cards well that could be anything so I think the safest thing is to use our scroll of blinking. Staircase, go up and rest. Uh, hmm. And I kind of want to get that flail of protection. So that's like plus five to AC. Uh, yeah, that could be useful and. Certain situations. Tiger of Protection does the same thing. Yeah, okay. Until we get the first um, 
offer from Rue. So we can make our first sacrifice. Um, like I said, I don't have too much time right now. But I might just pause the recording and <clears throat> continue later today. By the way, let's identify this high-level book. It's the Akashic Record. So this is quite cool. Some high-level spells we obviously can't learn. Oh, maybe we should get swiftness. As an escape option. Let's do it. I think we have explored everything. Let's leave the ghost behind here and just go. Book of summonings. How appropriate. Ooh, abjuration, recall. Shadow creatures uh, seems quite cool. I think it's a new spell. I haven't really uh, oops, played much with that. Uh, no, read summonings. Abjuration is of course good. We'll send back summon the creatures. Fail 2%. No hunger. Well, we don't have any hunger anyway. Recall. Greatly prized by summoners and necromancers as it allows allows the caster to recall any friendly creatures nearby to a position adjacent to the caster. That could be very useful. 10% fail. Shadow creatures, 24% fail. Some demon. Ooh. That could also be very good, of course. Some forest, I'm not sure what it does, except summon trees. Would be cool to try out. Um, we're only five spell levels right now, though. So. Hmm. Ooh, Lightning Spire is down to 14% failure and no super high chance of horribly miscasting. Uh, let's get a little bit into charms. against the sheep. How appropriate. The wolf failed. Go on. No, no, that's not right. please. Uh, 
Oops, wrong key. I meant to try to hit both of them, but anyway, we reached level 9. Um, I guess intelligence. Uh, back, back to our good dagger here. enough charms for swiftness uh, I think I want some fighting as well The food we can't eat. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, damn. Hmm. Unknown scroll. Teleportation. this. Ooh, we got our first sacrifice. This is a one of disintegration. Good. Read. Identify this amulet of resist mutation. It's useful to have, obviously. Um, what do Rue offer? We can sacrifice a hand. Courage or essence. Okay. Sacrificing a hand, well, we lose a hand. Can't use shields. Can wear one less ring, one fewer ring, and cannot wield two handed weapons. Okay, courage. <clears throat> we become terrified of dangerous monsters. Such monsters fill with horror, reduces the adherence ability to hit and damage monsters in combat. And the power of the spells. Wow. Essence, lower, reduced magic pool, MR minus, or increased spell casting difficulty. Let's try to sacrifice essence. We should now get a choice. Minus 10% MP. Right now that means 3 mana points. It's a modest sacrifice. I think we can live with that. Um, sacrifice courage. Maybe also I don't like to lose the ability to wear two rings. Hmm. I'm not really sure, and I'm running out of time, and and um, and I'm gonna end this video right here, and. If you have any comments, any advice, any any insight as to what would be a good sacrifice here, then uh, courage is a significant sacrifice. A hand is incredible. <laughs> okay, in essence, yeah, we get the minus ten percent MP. Well, that's what we have to choose from here. Um, any comments? Welcome. And uh, yeah, so um, thank you for watching and goodbye for now.